Hello ladies, and hello all of you. Welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got an interesting one. Now a lot of times I can tell you pretty much what happened to cause a certain problem. In this case, it's really just a guess. So as I'm trimming with my grinder, you're gonna notice marks in the sole of this foot. We've got one on the lateral claw, we've got two on that medial claw. First, let's look at this lateral. It's not in any of the typical problem areas. We can pretty much discount that. And the lateral claw tends to not have any problems. This upper one on the medial claw, that's just a solar imperfection. We don't have to worry about that either. This is the problem, down in the white line. If you look real close, you'll notice that crack is all the way through that wall, perpendicular to that white line. So let's get this grinder out. We're gonna trim away and reveal that crack a little bit better. With just a couple passes of the grinder, you can see that that crack is much more extensive than it looked. And now I'm gonna do something that I don't like to do, and that's remove some of that outside wall. The reason I don't like removing wall horn is because that is where the weight of the cow is transferred from the foot to the ground is that outside wall. When we take that away, we're taking away that structural support or that structural element of the foot. It's then forcing that weight to the other portions of the wall or to the sole, which typically we don't want to do. In this case though, that is exactly what my goal is. It's to remove all of the weight and pressure from around that crack and transfer that weight to the other areas of the wall. Now for obvious reasons, on a normal foot, we don't wanna do that because we wanna distribute that force and distribute that weight throughout that outside wall. But like I said, in this case, that's exactly what my goal is, to get it away from that spot. So what exactly could cause a crack to form perpendicular to that outside wall? Well, really, the only thing that I can think of, and your guess is as good as mine on this one, is that she probably stepped on something that actually cut that outside wall. And then what happened, you know, an analogy to kind of to bring this into perspective is if you've ever had a cut or a split in your fingertip, every time you touch something with your fingertip, it wants to open that up, right? It wants to open that split up. That's kind of what's happening here. I think that crack formed, and then every time she takes a step, it kind of opens it up a little further and opens it up a little further, and then it starts to, you get some uh, debris to pack in there and kind of wedges that open just a little bit further. So what I'm gonna do now, and what you've seen me do in a lot of videos, is just I'm gonna dish this area out, and what's that? what that's gonna do, it's gonna take the pressure off from around those areas. I'm gonna remove the wall, both above and below, and that way the pressures are away from that, that particular split. And that's gonna allow then the healing process underneath that to happen, and it's gonna keep that split from opening up any further. This will give you a better visual of what I was talking about. If you look close, you can see I've removed that wall horn from above and below that particular split. That's going to focus that weight or force that weight on the wall above and below it and keep that split from opening up any further. I'm also going to put a block on that other claw to take the weight off of that, all, that entire claw for a little bit, and that's going to help uh, allow that to heal underneath as well. If we can do that, we're gonna be able to take away that pinching, that discomfort, and she'll be a much more comfortable cow. A quick spray down with chlorhexidine is really all we gotta do here. A wrap would provide no benefit because that block is really what's doing the work, keeping that toe from pinching. Let's get this foot down, take a look at that block, and we'll let her go. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.